this is Clash of Clans with RTX on. I've made Clash of Clans realistic twice on this channel already and you guys really enjoyed that. But Supercell still hasn't updated the game's graphics, so I will continue making these videos until that happens. Let's get right into it. In the first Clash of Clans video on this channel, I used the Town Hall 2 base for the animation because the higher levels have way too many buildings. Well, but I've gotten a lot faster at modeling since then, so this time we're making a Town Hall 8 base. That means I have to model 21 buildings. So that's more than double the number of buildings from last time. So I started by modeling the elixir storage. I forgot to start the recording, but I made some lags and then put a large sphere into the middle. I made sure to recreate all the tiny details, like bolts and the spikes on the feet. Why does it have so many spikes? Then I moved on to the elixir collector. I took a very flat cylinder and extruded it a few times and then added a few things on the sides. That's an elixir collector. Next, I made the gold storage and I actually used round coins this time. Most of these models are pretty easy to make if you break them down into their basic shapes. Getting the proportions right is the hard thing. But there was one model that was very, very difficult to make. The P.E.K.K.A head on the barracks. Trust me, I really tried to make the model as accurate as possible, but yeah. That's why I just downloaded a model from the internet. I was able to steal some parts from my level 4 barracks that I made for the Town Hall 2 video. At this point I had only modeled 4 out of 21 buildings and I didn't have a lot of time left so I had to work even faster. But that still wasn't enough. That's why KV3D, Build and Ben helped me model a few buildings. Thank you guys so much for the help. So after two more days of work, I finally had all the buildings I needed. I was ready to start the texturing process. Making 3D textures look realistic can be difficult sometimes. But one of the most important aspects are surface imperfections. For one of my previous videos, I generated these imperfection textures using AI. So I reused them as a mask to mix between a main material and a dirt material. The elixir is just a pink glowing material. The texturing process wasn't too difficult because all of the buildings are pretty much just made from pink glowing stuff, gold, wood and stone. The level 8 walls have skulls stuck to them, so I downloaded this 3D scan of a skull. A lot of museums scan their stuff and upload it to the internet for everyone to use for free. That can be pretty helpful sometimes. I put the skull on a wall segment and gave it a dirty beige material. Now I could finally start building the base layout. Oh, and I reused the Town Hall 8 model from my Town Halls video. Definitely watch that video after this one. After all the walls were in place, I started putting down the buildings. Well, and that's a Clash of Clans village. Next, I planted some grass using the Botanic add-on. And I put some darker grass below the buildings. Blender started getting really, really laggy after I added the grass, so I had to hide it until I started the final render. In the game, there is some forest and a beach surrounding the village, so that's what I made next. I imported these four trees using Botanic and just scattered them throughout the background. I made the beach by duplicating this 3D scanned sand asset from Megascans. And for the ocean I basically just used a wavy glass material. To make the animation even more realistic I wanted to put some troops on the towers just like in the game. But the models I found online weren't the most realistic ones and I had nowhere near the amount of time I would need to make my own characters. But then I found this wizard costume and tried to integrate it into the scene. I even used the new Photoshop AI to make myself look like the wizard from Clash of Clans. Well, that didn't really work out. Let's just say the troops are on vacation or something. The last thing I did was the camera animation. I even made some sick transitions. Well, that's basically it. After 41 hours of rendering, this is my final result. If you enjoy the animation, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to download all the 3D models we created, join the Patreon.